G'day guys, here is a tutorial video for how to set up your computer so it's ready to start modeling with SketchUp for schools. Um, you should have access to this Google Classroom by now. You, um, your teacher may have set this up for you. It should look very similar to this. Um, the first thing you wanna do is ignore everything on this stream page, go straight up the top here to classwork. Right? This is where you're gonna find all the useful things to get started with um, your modeling and to access your activity booklet and things like that. Um, what we need to do for starters is set up a folder in, um, in our Google Drive where we can save all the models that we do. In this CAD activity booklet, there's a whole bunch of models in there that you're gonna to need to draw, and we need to save them somewhere. So to do that, we're gonna to go to Google Apps. We've got a button up here with nine dots called Google Apps. Click on that, then click on Google Drive. Okay, now my Google Drive probably looks a little bit different to yours. Um, I've got a lot of things on here that I've been working on. Um, but the process on how to set up a folder is exactly the same, and I'll show you how that works. What I want you to do is go to new up here, new folder, click on that new folder, and we're gonna call that CAD activities. You may be able to see on my screen that I've already got a couple of CAD activities folders. That's just because I've been making these tutorials and how to make those. Um, so this one I'm gonna call CAD activities one, just so I don't get confused. And we're gonna create that folder. So then you see on your drive, you've got a CAD activities folder. That's where we're gonna save all the SketchUp models once we've finished drawing them. Okay, once we've done that, we can go up the top here and exit Google Drive, brings us back to Google Classroom. Then we can actually go into these dots again and you can see you've actually got an option to scroll down. If we scroll down all the way to the bottom, we've got a little icon called SketchUp for Schools. Okay, I want you to click on that. It'll take a little while to load. There we go. Once it has loaded, your screen should look somewhat similar to this. It might say you have nothing here. Um, click somewhere to get started. What I want you to do is just go create new, right? Up the top here, it'll say create new and go simple template millimeters, right? And it should show up with a, you know, sort of green ground, blue sky background with a little, with some sort of cowboy guy here. First thing I want you to do is click this cowboy and delete. Just click the delete button on your keyboard and get rid of him. Then what I need you guys to do is on the right hand side over here, you've got a bunch of buttons. I want you to find the one that looks like uh, two little shapes next to each other. It's called styles. Click on that. And we're gonna go on the edit button next to simple style and go to background settings. Then I want you to untick the box that says sky, get rid of that. And the background color is green. We just wanna change that to white. Okay, there we go. White background looks good. We can click done. Now, this is a template that you're gonna to use to start all your SketchUp modeling. Um, and to save this template, we just need to go up in the top um, left corner over here and we wanna click save. We need to <coughs> enter the model name as, um, we'll call it, uh, White, oops, my phone's gone off, sorry. White template um, millimeters. White template millimeters. Click OK. And it should pop up with a box here asking you where you want to save your model. So we're going to save it in that CAD activities folder that we made. So mine's called CAD activities one. I'll click on that, select, and that's where it's going to save. Okay, once we've done that, we can get out of SketchUp for schools go back to um, back to our Google Classroom here. Now, to set up your screen to actually start modeling, we need to open, we need to have two different windows open. We need to have one window open with our CAD activity booklet and one window open with our SketchUp drawings. So if I click on this CAD activity booklet and open that up, see how it takes up the full screen? What I wanna do is I wanna drag this, click on that tab and drag it down. And that'll create a new window just with that tab in it. Okay, I'm gonna um, minimize that now. See that minimize button? I'll do it one more time. There's a minimize button next to the X, or it's called restore down. Click on that. And I'm just gonna click the top of that toolbar and drag it over to the left side of my screen. Okay, drag it over here. You can then choose to resize it by hovering over the top and clicking these arrows, dragging them up and down. Same on the side, dragging them side to side until it takes up about half of your screen, okay? With the remaining tabs over here, you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing. You can go to your classroom, back to your classroom in this tab, 
wait till it loads. There we go. Click on those dots again. Scroll down to SketchUp for Schools. Wait till it loads. There we go. Now, <clears throat> we've got our white template millimeters. That's the one we want to use, so we're going to click on that, and it takes us to this, okay? Um, what we want to do now is just minimize this by clicking on the Restore Down window, and we can just drag it over to the corner, just like we did with the other one, and modify the size of it, all right? Just make it so it takes up about half the screen as well, okay? So we've got SketchUp on one half of the screen, a drawing on the other half of the screen, and we should be good to go. Now, unfortunately, with the tutorial videos that are in your SketchUp class, uh, these ones here, you've got 20 tutorial videos. That should pop up here. There we go. There's 20 tutorial videos. These tutorials have been done on the desktop version of SketchUp, and I'll show you what that looks like. Um, here it is. So that SketchUp looks a little bit like this. It's got all these tools on the side here, um, all these tools along the top. But the SketchUp for Schools is a little bit more of a simplified version. They've made it simpler just so you can use it in an, in an internet browser. Um, but all the tools, whether it be the pencil tool, rectangle tool, circle tool, tape measure, protractor, everything is on SketchUp for Schools. You just have to look in a different place for it. So in the videos, when I say to use the push-pull tool, you might just need to look and find it in a different place. Or the move tool, um, whichever tool I say, it's in there. You just need to find it. So um, if we go back to SketchUp here, you can see if we click on the rectangle tool, it gives me all these different options. So I've got the polygon tool, circle tool, rotated rectangle, and normal rectangle. If I click on the arc, I've got all the different arc options. Uh, if I click on the tape measure, I've got the tape measure, dimensions, protractor. All the tools are in here. You just might need to look for them to find them. The solid tools are in here as well for the subtracting that you might need to do later. Um, everything's there. You just need to have a look through these ones, um, through these different toolbars here to find the tool you want, okay? So um, once I'll, I'll give you a quick rundown of how to save your first model when you do it. Um, for example, I'll just go through this quickly. The, the first tutorial video will go through how to draw it in a lot more depth, but say I draw this first shape. I, do my, I grab my rectangle, I draw a rectangle that is 100 by 100, enter, and zoom in on that, and then I can use the push-pull tool to push it up by 100. So see how I've drawn that first model? That looks exactly the same as that. That's perfect. What I need to do is I need to go to this folder option, that folder button. Don't click Save. Go to the folder, and you're going to click Save As. Now we need to change the name to number one square block. N-O-1 square block. And we click OK. So that one will take a minute to save. Once it's saved, you choose to save it in CAD Activities 1, select, and it'll save in there. So your number one square block will then be finished, right? There'll be a much deeper, um, more in-depth tutorial on how to do that in the other tutorial videos section. But for now, that's just showing you how you save your model once you've finished on SketchUp for Schools, okay? To get back to the template so you can start number two, you're gonna wanna go to your, um, so you click up on these dots here, all these lines, go to Google Drive, Open your CAD Activities folder, open up your template, there we go, and then you can move down to drawing number two, get started on that. Once you've finished it, click on the folder icon, save it as. Don't click the save button because that will override the template that you made earlier and you'll have to make your template again, okay? So make sure you save it as. Click the folder, save as, right? Um, you should be good now to go back to your Google Classroom, go to your tutorial videos, Click on video number one, square block. Watch that video, complete that, save it, and then work your way through the rest. Okay, have fun.